there. We are Claire and Nick Butcher, and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. Good morning. That's another coat of paint on. Lost count now, if that's, I think that's number three. One of the other things that I need to, to get on with next is um, the light switch. I've obviously got the lights in position and but the switch was on this. That wire was previously hidden behind the panelling that was on the wall. Um, so as I'm not going to drill through the wall or try and bury it in in any, in any way. I need to have it exposed. Um, just fitted the back plate for the switch there. I've got some of this trunking. It's not the same colour. Hmm. Anyway, that's going to go up to the ceiling and then I can get on and finish that strip along the ceiling. Which will then allow me to get that bit done at the end there. And so on and so on and so on. Anyway, after yesterday's efforts with the floor. It's looking good. Um, later on today I might even grout it if the mood takes me. smooth um, just going to push the ceiling light back in I think I think they've had enough paint around them now um, so I'm going to push them up into position and then go and turn the power on and as long as I don't go bang hopefully then the light should come on hey 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 There you have it. Light. Right. Um, I think I'm going to grab the floor tiles now. Well, there you have it. What a mess. I remember this from, it's the same grout that we used for the jeep floor. Um, turns out all right in the end, but a uh, bit, bit mucky when you're doing it. So next is to get a very lightly damp mop and uh, get the excess off. There you have it. The, f the floor is grouted. 
that will dry and go lighter I'll show you it when it has dried um, but yeah looking good After a four hour drive, I've made it to the point of San Marlo. My car is on board the overnight ferry to Portsmouth. Um, yeah, I did quite well. I think I got on before quite a lot of people. The only thing, the bar's not open. Ugh. a wonderful dinner. And some questionable entertainment. It's my life, my heart is like a moving highway Like Frankenstein I do you a little tour of my cabin for the night. So we have the door, we have this lovely hanging area, lovely upper shelf storage and we also have a ladder. The ladder, oh it's a bit wobbly, is for the top bunk which isn't pulled down and there is the bottom bunk. I've also got some lovely artwork and I've got a little vanity seating area and then through here I have my wonderful ensuite shower toilet sink there's a towel so yeah it's um it's quite compact I've gone for an inside cabin because for the amount of time I'm in here I'm really only gonna be sleeping you don't need to worry about setting your alarm clock because this little ditty wakes you up but I was already up because the people next door decided to have some kind of banging party at 2am and it's been a bit choppy since uh, uh, coffee Well, I've just given the floor a mop. I've got to say, it's looking really good. I'm pleased with that. So, I'm going to carry on getting some panelling. Um, before I go too far with this, I'm going to um, get some of this pipe cut and attached to the, um, the distributor kind of thing there, um, which will be behind the panelling. I will be able to access it through the top because we're going to have a worktop that will be able to come off uh, but it'll just be easier for me to do it when it's like this my pipe work I've got my crimping tool and I've got my fittings so I just need to cut some lengths of pipe to join from going to get two from there to the basin that's the toilet that, that end of the toilet pipe is the other end um, so that end will need to be connected and then another one from there across to here uh, for where the urinal is going to be Alright well the bottom half of the woodwork um, is going to be a uh, painted black uh, rather than the white of the top half and just to try and avoid getting stuff on the floor here I'm going to pre-paint what I can in the shutter workshop. So, uh...
that's the compressor charging up. Um, quite dull and grey. But that's alright because I'm working inside. <laughs> so <clears throat> I've got the air gun, the nail gun ready. And uh, I'm going to put all that painted panelling along here. Should look good in a minute. The range just reminded me I need to sort out the uh, the tank uh, for collecting the rainwater. So, quick little break just for half an hour from the outside toilet. And well, first thing I need to do is wire brush. Got this lovely uh, wire brush on the angle grinder, and just give that door a bit of a clean up. And then I'll go down there and give the hole a bit of a clean up and hopefully with it all clean it won't drip. <music> Hadn't actually spotted it before but um, there is like a rope material around the door that obviously is the seal. Um, well that's a bit silicony. Hmm. Maybe that's what they stuck it in with. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm reluctant to go too hard at it and actually destroy that because I don't know where to go and get any more. Anyway, I think what I'll do, I'll give the door hole a, a clean up now quickly and uh, get this door on. And in there is now bone dry. It looks and smells clean. So hopefully, Hopefully we won't get any more problems with uh, algae growing. Anyhow, let's have a clean up here. That's the door back on. Trouble is, don't know if it's worked till it's already filling up with water. But it can't be any worse than it was before, he says. Maybe, anyway. The door's on. We'll hope that it doesn't leak. I'm uh, just going to go and check everything up the top of the tank. Um, make sure the hose is in the right place and that I've got a lid and the cover on the lid to make it as dark as possible. Uh, and then we can start collecting some of this rainwater. Uh, this pipe is coming from the back garden. So I think I'm going to get something and put it over here so it will absolutely minimise. I don't want even that little crack of light. Well, I've just shoved a big cardboard box over the top. Um, that should stop it. We'll see. I'll go and plug it all back in now and uh, oh, see how we get on with it all. Don't know if the sound will pick it up straight away. Trickle, trickle, trickle. I just want to go for a wee. If only I had an outside toilet. Right, let's get back to that then. Just turned the water onto the urinal. Nothing so far is leaking. Shall I give it a go? I fitted a urinal. How many of you can say that? It's working.
Oh, what an achievement. Anyway, finish off that panelling there and then, then it might be time to fit the bowel. Well, I have safely arrived in England. It's cold, it's 11 degrees, it's raining, it's pretty miserable. The traffic is mental. I can't remember the last time I saw so many cars. But I had a really good crossing and I am due to arrive at my destination shortly. Can't complain really, can you? Well, you can about the weather. Claire's obviously in England at the moment, so when she gets back almost straight away it's her birthday and there's something that she's wanted. And I've been out today. Um, I've got it. Well I've got it this far. I I've got it in the back of the van here need to get it out of the van and there's not a flora that is flora but is this it's heavy it's uh yeah it's gonna be a bit of a challenge but uh there we have one sommelier a wild boar, well, a stone version. Hmm. It's going to be fun. So for now, we're going to end it there on that cliffhanger. Now, throughout November, we're going to be doing two episodes a week. If you subscribed, you'll find out what we're doing. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and X or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. There's no wine of the week this episode, but in hindsight, here's my wine of the week. Ah, ah, ah. Thanks for watching and see you next episode. <laughs>